another good month for games with gold. First up on the Xbox One, uh, available for the whole of the month of May, is Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams, the director's cut. Um, now, Gianna Sisters has a bit of a history behind it, actually. Twisted Dreams uh, actually first came out in 2012, uh, originally on PlayStation 3. And the director's cut is basically a remastering, I suppose, um, for the Xbox One. And Giannis actually has a history that goes back even further than that. If you cast your mind back to 1987, what were you doing in 1987? I can't really remember, to be honest. <laughs> well, whilst you were swimming around your father's sack, uh, the Gianna sisters uh, actually was building up a bit of notoriety because it was a game that looked and played really similarly to Super Mario. And Mario was, you know, was just taking off back in the late 80s. And in fact, it looked so reminiscent to it that um, Nintendo sort of pressured that they didn't actually outright sue them, but they pressured um, various retail outlets into not stocking the game. And then they eventually got their way and it was withdrawn from sale. And so it became a bit of a, a playground legend. People were swapping the floppy disk in the uh, in school playgrounds uh, around the, not only around the country, but around the world, really. Um, so there's two lessons to learn there. Number one, if anyone thinks that Nintendo being slightly over aggressive in enforcement of their IP protection is a new thing, um, it isn't, though. They've been like that pretty much always um and the second indeed and the second thing uh, to learn from that is Gianna Sisters is actually its own thing now the Twisted Dreams is nothing really like um Mario Brothers I have played the non-director's cut version of Gianna Sisters it's it, it starts off really well and it, it sort of tails off it goes it hits a bit of a difficulty spike actually I, I recall from when I played it before so um yeah I, I'm not overly excited about this particular game that's a bit of a shame, then. It's, it is unfortunate, but, you know, g give us a go. The first hour or so is good, at least. Um, second up on the Xbox One, much better, actually, Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. This is going to be available from the 16th of May through to the 15th of June. Now, this was included with the uh, PlayStation Plus Instant Games Collection quite a few months ago, and we actually played through this. I mean, we had a really good time with it, didn't we? Yeah, a, a better time than I expected. It's um, Just to explain, it's like the Lara Croft series is a spin-off from the Tomb Raider series. Um, first of all, it is the proper Lara Croft. It's not the, it's not the rebooted Lara. It's not the whiny um, entitled university brat. It's the it, you know it's it's a good old fashioned one, yeah. yeah the upper class uh, toff who shoots everything and asks questions later uh, you know with the the boobs and short shorts proper Lara Croft and the game itself is an isometrically viewed um, kind of shooter it's, it, it is a twin stick shooter um, it's it's reminiscent of Diablo actually the console version of uh, Diablo three. Um, it's it's very arcadey. You, there's four people you can play as one of whom is Lara. Um, and you can either play by yourself with the AI, or you can have either a combination of uh, real people online and in local. In fact, when we played it, I remember we had we actually had two people locally, and then you were online as well. So you can mix and match. Which um, is quite nice in this uh, day and age, really, to have something like that. It's an increasingly rare thing, yeah, and it's really nice to actually see that. So um, it's. The, I wouldn't quite go so far as to describe it as a triple A release. It's it's definitely not an indie release either. So let's let's settle for a double A double release. A, yeah. Or, or some some may say a double D release. <laughs> it's a brilliant game to play in co-op with mates. It's a great co-op game, yeah, and uh, definitely the better of the two games on Xbox One this month. Let's talk about the Xbox 360, starting from the 1st of May, uh, which is this coming Monday, and available until the 15th of May, is Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Um, you may recall that the original Force Unleashed uh, was um, made available some time ago. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, other websites sort of describing this as a disappointing sequel to a great first game, and that's not my memory of this at all. I thought they were both kind of crappy. I thought they were both mind-blowingly average, to be honest. I don't think either one of them was more average than the other. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really like the first game, and the, the second one was really more of the same, so I, I don't really understand what people are saying that this is a massive step down in quality. To, in my mind, it's actually more of the same. You, you've still got Darth Vader's whiny dick of an assistant, uh, an apprentice even, um, and, you, you know, the story's still a little bit underpowered, and the implementation of the Force powers is, is still underutilised, which is all really unfortunate, because there, were, there was so much potential to both of the games, actually, and um, it's, it's ironic it's called The Force Unleashed. I think The Force overly leashed would actually be a, a, a more valid description of it to be honest um we have a second star wars game this month though uh, also for the xbox 360 and of course both of these titles will be available backwards compatible uh with the xbox one um and the reason for that is because of the star wars may the fourth uh, annual thing which doesn't really work with you may the fourth be with you exactly which doesn't really work um in england because we say the fourth of may so fourth may for the may be with you no it doesn't work um <laughs> Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Uh, so this is actually available from the 16th of May through to the 31st of May. Lego Star Wars, the original Lego Star Wars, is the one that kicked it off. Uh, the Complete Saga basically takes the original trilogy and the prequel, the, you know, the awful prequel trilogy, and, and rolls them I mean, together into one game. It was on the PS2, wasn't it? 
it's a yeah it's it's an incredibly yeah. old game I've, I've got to say that i mean the, the lego it's games one of the best lego games though it is yeah it definitely is one of the best lego games i mean I, I like most of the lego games there are good ones and bad ones but they all kind of follow the same templates and they haven't really come on massively in the considerable amount of time that they've been going um I, i'll tell you a funny story actually it's uh it's gaming anecdote time um when this game first came out i was working for a pc games magazine a very popular piece of games magazine and uh, one of my colleagues was reviewing the original lego star wars game um, he should remain nameless he's, he's a really nice chap so i won't embarrass him um and he was he was sort of protesting at the time he'd tell anyone who listened if we could all just get over the fact that it's star wars lego star wars really isn't that great a game and i completely disagreed with him i think i think quite a few people did it was like no it's the fact that Star Wars does definitely make it better, but it, it is actually still a really good, fun, um, and again, a co-op focused um, third person shooter slash melee game. And um, I, I, I'd like to, I suppose the only reason I'm telling this anecdote is because I think the sheer number of Lego games that have been released kind of vindicate, vindicate my argument. Well, I'd, I'd agree with that. Uh, the only thing uh, pretty much all of the Lego games are lacking is online um, co-op. None of them really, even today, they don't bother to implement online multiplayer, which is real shame. So it's a great couch co-op game, um, and it does actually play well by yourself as well, but it, it is a shame that you can't play it online. So what is your pick of the month? Probably Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Yeah, I'm I'm on the fence, actually, between Lara Croft and Lego Star Wars A Complete Saga, because yeah, both... Yeah, they're the two I was thinking of as well. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, so yeah, I suppose we'll have one pick for each console, why not? They're, they're both actually really great um, couch co-op games. Um, Lara Croft obviously has the online multiplayer as well, and um, again, it's a really good month for games we've got. The, the, the only game I, I would... I mean, obviously, The Force Unleashed 2 isn't that great. It's, it's just another really strong month with two AAA titles, one AA title, and one indie. Um, okay, over to you, Sony, uh, with the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection. And another uh, letdown. And another letdown. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Do please hit the like and subscribe button. There's loads more at parallaxlive.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.